Hi, this is Trade Pastor. Welcome to my Trade Pastor Saturday Horror Reviews by uh, episode 3. I think episode 3. This is for the Horoscope 101 channel and for my channel. Okay. Okay, uh, the movie that I tried to review, I went old school for this review. And I got the Universal Monster Edition, which I got from Amazon UK. Okay, and the movie that I got out of this set. Which also just come comes in this lovely box, okay. And the movie that I picked was one of my favorites, one of my childhood favorites that I saw as a kid. I'm a big Universal horror fan, okay, or a creature fan, as DVD collector 1974 would say. Is this man, the Gill Man, <laughs> right there? There he is. Okay. Of course, I'm talking about. Uh, Okay, 1954's The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, uh, of course, about a prehistoric uh, creature. And basically, the basic story of this one is a, a scientific expedition is in the uh, uh, searching for fossils in the Amazon River, and and they discover you know like a you know like a claw skeletal skull of of a, of a gill man and you know they uh, decide to explore further you know a scientist discovers it and he decides to yeah you know, he takes it to uh, this expedition that's further up river and you know he, he tells his fellow scientists listen we have this look, look what I found and they go oh okay let's go and we want to see if we can find you know come back he tells his natives to stay there and wait and near the, um, where he found it, and said, listen, I'll come back, and we'll go get this authenticated, and then I want to come back, and we'll dig up and get the remaining skeleton of it, and find out what this amazing creature is. And oh yeah, one other thing, I did see this in 3D. Okay, it is in 3D, and I have a 3D TV now, so I was able to watch this in 3D, and let me just say, the 3D is fantastic for this uh, edition. It looked absolutely beautiful. Okay, the 3D, the 3D thumbs up for me for that one. For that movie, like I said, never saw it in 3D, saw it back in the day, back in, of course, in regular 2D. But it was actually designed back then for, back, because back in, the, I think in the 50s, late 40s, 50s, 3D was a big craze back then. So uh, it was actually quite, looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, anyway, uh, okay, the main characters, of course, are you have uh, Richard Carlson. He plays, I guess he's the, the lead in this. He plays David Reed, you know, the, one of the scientists. And then you have a, the lovely, delectable uh, Julie Adams. He plays Kay Lawrence, uh, who's uh, uh, David Reed's, I guess, fiance in a way, even though it's not a kind of official. But I guess, you know, they are they are together. And then you have their boss, uh, played by Richard Denning, uh, Mark Williams. Okay, and those are the three main characters, and then you have another scientist, uh, Whit, uh, played by Whit Bessel. He plays Edward Thompson, and then you also have um, various other. Yeah, I think there's another scientist there too with them, and then the various natives. Anyway, uh, like I said, they, uh, he shows them the find, and you know, you know, David Reed and uh, decides, yeah, yeah, let's go check it out, and of course. Uh, Mark Williams, he's the who's the boss, really, of uh, at the institute where um, David Reed and Kay work. So yeah, let's go down there. Yeah, he he wants to go, but only he's more of a. He looks at this, you know, the. He's more of a. He likes to see what the sci what the value of this scientific expedition. Okay, he's more of trying to make the profit and seeing what advantage they can take by you know. Discovering these things, and where David Reed is more of the scientific, you know, looking for the more scientific angle of it, of things. So after, uh, you know, showing this pre, you know, the skeletal remains to these scientists, you know, you know, the one scientist who found it, decides, yeah, okay, let's, yeah, we'll go down there, we'll finance, you know, you know, he'll find, you know, he'll finance this trip. Let's go down there and explore and find out. We can find the rest of the skeleton and find out. You know what exactly is you know down there in this river okay so they of course put patches on a boat 
And of course, they make their way down there and they discover when they get back that, of course, the two natives uh, who he told to wait by the skeletal remains, uh, where he found the skeletal remains, are, have been murdered. <laughs> okay? And of course, they can't figure out, you know, what they just assumed that wild animals, because they're in the Amazon, that maybe some wild animals came and just killed them. Of course, unbeknownst to them, but known to us, of course, it was the Gill Man. And again, one of the other things I love about this movie is the whole. The whole atmosphere and the, you know, they, you know, they shot. I think they shot it in Florida, but, you know, they kind of, you know, it looks, you know, it looks, it looks good where they, you know, they film it in black and white. And it looks good, and also I love the, the, uh, the music. Whenever the Gill Man makes an appearance, you hear that music, da da da, da da, and it's just fantastic. Okay, and basically, so they make their way down to the Amazon where they. You know, they try to get more, like, samples to find out if, they, if, the, if the Gill Man's remains. I think they come up with a theory about, I think the theory is that um, if they find some, no, actually, they make their way back to the, uh, you know, after they make their way back to the um, location where they found the skeletal remains of, of a deceased Gill Man, and, but they can't find, after they dig, dig it through, they can't find the rest of the skeletons, but I think they come up with a theory about that maybe... Uh, the rest of the remains got pushed down river, and they want to compare the rocks, you know, in the river to the Gill Man's, the ones that were found around the hand, the skeletal remains of a hand, and they figure that way, they'll know that this, you know, this is the same, I think the same, if it's the, how old it is, and if it's the same, maybe like it got pushed down the river, the rest of the remains got pushed down river, and basically they go down, and they, they use that excuse to travel further down river. And of course, during the expo explorations, when you go down to uh, retrieve the rocks, you see the Gale Man lurking about. <laughs> okay, following him, lurking about. And then, of course, the lovely uh, uh, Kay Lawrence, played by Julie Adams, decides to uh, take a swim <laughs> while the rest of the boys are examining the rocks. And of course, the Gale Man sees her and becomes instantly smitten, of course and even apes her movements underneath the water, which is in a lovely the way. I love the way they filmed that. Where you see her on top, you know, she's swimming, doing the backstroke and stuff, and you see the girl man underneath her doing the same thing, mimicking her movements. And, of course, instantly spitting, okay? And, of course, then the girl man makes his appearance known, okay? And then, of course, like I said, you have uh, Richard Denning's character, Mark Williams. He wants to capture the, you know, he wants to capture the Gill Man and bring it back. And, of course, the scientists, you know, David Reed, played by Richard Carlson, wants to, you know, wants to study it. And you have that conflict. And also, there's a conflict because, you know, even, like I said, Kay Lawrence, who actually worked at the Institute uh, before uh, David Reed, okay, you see, you see there's sort of a, a rivalry between the two of them. You know, Kay is with David. You know, you can tell there's a rivalry between uh, David and Mark, and she's kind of, you know, trying to keep the peace between them. But you know, it, you know, like I said, you have a guy that's more of a scientist, and then you have the guy that's more of a practical, and he wants to, he's all you know, he's business, and he wants to capture the man and stuff. And of course, during the course of this <laughs> uh, journey, of course, <laughs> many natives are murdered. Uh, the Gill man attacks quite frequently. <laughs> okay, and. Like I said, I love the sound he makes, and I love the noise Noise he makes. The noise, the, you know, the soundtrack, whenever the music that cues up, whenever he makes an appearance. Da -da -da, da -da. <laughs> it's fantastic. Anyway, I had lots of fun with this, and I got this movie confused because there's two other sequels, there's two sequels to this movie. But I got this movie confused with the second part, uh, which is which is a different, was a movie with a different actress. Okay, but in any event, I enjoyed this movie thoroughly. Okay, it's a great, great creature feature. Okay, the Gill Man is a nice and scary guy. Nice and scary guy. And I remember seeing, I think on the Monsters, there was a, one of the Monsters' cousins or stuff, or uncles or something. He was like the Gill Man. Okay, and I remember that. But the Gill Man is great in this movie. Like I say, he's tall. And I read, and on the uh, Blu-ray for this set, they, they show you all the behind-the-scenes stuff. They interview the actors and stuff. And, and then, you know, they had a different actor that, it was a Gill Man out of the water and a, and a different actor for the, for the Gill Man that was underneath the water, okay? And they had different, you know, a crew of the film, you know, underneath the water. 
and you know filming from two different angles and stuff. And this movie was remarkable for its time. You know, all the stuff that they did. You know, the technology. You know, the technology they employed to get the three D and uh, and all that stuff was fantastic. And you know, great behind the scenes uh, stuff about the movie on the on the uh, on the Blu Ray. So definitely pick up the set if you can. It's it's fantastic for information about the about the creature, the filming, and all this stuff, and the sequels and stuff, and how they were made, and it's fantastic. Definitely a great pickup for me. Okay, and a great pickup for anybody. So, overall, I'm going to give the Gill Man, uh, let's see, my rating is a 10. You know, I have up to 10, 10 being perfect, you know, 9 being just about perfect. So, I'm going to give a Gill Man, which I actually really liked, I'm going to give a Gill Man a, uh, Nick Gilman, the creature from the Black Lagoon, as it's caused, as you know, as it's called. Uh, I'm gonna give the Gilman for the uh, for the filming locations, for the you know, he had decent acting in this as well. Love the Gilman himself, a nice creature feature who you know he misunderstood monster. He, uh, he you know he killed a lot of natives. <laughs> okay, even attacked and attacked the scientists too, and had a thing for. Julia, I just can't blame her for that. You know, she was gorgeous, and uh, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give the uh, feature for the Black Lagoon an eight, just for like for the 3D for the, its time, and this was a really good movie. And I think it's only uh, well, how long was this movie? About that. Uh, this movie was yeah, 79 minutes, which is for you know that, that limited of time. They you know they packed a lot in there for just under 80 minutes. Uh, they packed a lot in there. And of course, you got the gorgeous Julie Adams you know, in there, which is a added bonus, of course. And the Gill Man, misunderstood, but a great feature. And of course, they went on to make two more sequels. Okay, anyway, um, let me know what you think of the feature from the Black Moon. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Passer for the Horoscope 101 channel and for Trey Passer's Horror Review Episode 3. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.